Welcome to this playthrough for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I haven't played this game at all, so I was thinking how I was going to go about approaching this game, but I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and play it in the uh, Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive collection that I have on Steam. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get this, but there is one achievement for this game. If we jump down here, close to the bottom. It says, finish Emerald Hill Zone with five lives. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that or not, especially since, you know, it's my first time playing it. And there's no challenge for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So really that's the only thing specific to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 in this collection. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and try to knock it out and, you know, just stick with the uh, the emulator, the, the ROM that Sega gave us basically for this game. But to be fair, the ROM... For this one does work with retro achievements to pull you know achievements if you want to use it in retro arch so that is something you can do if you purchase this prior to Sega pulling it from the store without further ado let's go ahead and launch Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and much like Sonic 1 it doesn't have much of a opening screen so let's get into it Wait up, Charles. Sonic, get up the hill. Oh, 
Oh god. Okay, it was for me. Yep, I just lost my interest to do that now. Didn't I get a bonus sum for that? Well, that's weird. I uh, could have sworn I was supposed to get a special stage for that. Uh, let me check something real quick. Okay, so apparently the special stages only appear if you have 50 or more rings when you hit a star post, not the end of the level. That's weird. Okay, well, I will um, have to keep that in mind moving forward if I'm going to try and collect the Chaos Emeralds. But, hey, you know what? For now, not a bad start to... Um, the, the very first act of the game. I believe this is also called Green Hill Zone, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Green Hill Zone, Act 1. Not too bad, all things considered. But I, I, I will say that, unlike Sonic 1 and Sonic CD, I think this game has each area divided only into two zones rather than three. So that'll be a bit of an adjustment. But anyway... Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.